Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to Savvy Sense. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use our Savvy Sense Debt Snowball Spreadsheet. It's a free tool that we offer, so make sure to hit download before you watch the rest of this video so that you can fill it in according to your needs. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe so that more and more people can hear about our channel because here at Savvy Sense, we're all about budgeting strategies, money saving tips, and tools to live the life that you want. And today I'm sharing one of those tools. So let's get started. This is the Savvy Sense Debt Snowball Spreadsheet. And when you first open up this spreadsheet, you'll see three tabs at the bottom, your instructions, summary, and your debt snowball. The instructions are going to give you some basic assumptions for the spreadsheets with a step-by-step -step process of how to fill it out. The summary tab, is where you'll do a lot of your work and a couple assumptions to note is the blue area is where you'll input all of your information and this spreadsheet can hold up to 10 debts so the very first step that you're going to do is you want to figure out when you're going to start paying off your debt so it's may now let's assume that it's going to be 6 1 of 2020 21 <laughs> and the next thing you're going to do is start filling in your debts from smallest balance to largest balance because with the debt snowball you're going to tackle those smaller debts first so you can really build up momentum. So let's assume that we have a chase card and a $2,500 balance with a minimum payment of $75 and a 15% interest rate, a car loan of $8,400 with a minimum payment of $200 and a 5% interest rate and a student loan for $12,000 with a $100 minimum payment and a 4.5% interest rate. And see how the balances are from smallest to largest. Let's note this total right here of 375. That's the total amount you're going to be putting towards your debt each month. Over here are the months until you are debt free per debt. Over here is your total months until you're debt free converted into years. So as you can see right now, just making the minimum payments, it's going to be six, a little over six years to pay off this debt. Okay, the next thing is to figure out what your snowball amount. So your monthly payment's gonna be the total of your minimum payments, and your debt snowball is gonna be after you've budgeted your money and figured out what extra you can throw out your debt each month. And in this example, we're gonna use $200. So just take a look down here as I enter in $200 to see how many months until you're debt free and see how it changes just by adding $200. Okay, so it went down to 44 months or 3.7 years. It cuts off a, quite a bit of time. So this part is really important if you can try to squeeze an extra $50 out of your budget just to throw out your debt. It can really affect the amount of time it takes to pay off your debt. And then the other thing to note too that's nice about the debt snowball method is that it really simplifies your budget. Your amounts don't change from month to month. You pay the same thing every single month. Let's head over to the debt snowball spreadsheet, which basically has a small summary at the top with your each card's balance, minimum payment, and interest rate for your reference. It has your start date that you'll be inputting on the other sheet and then generating below that are all the future months below that. And then your debt snowball, which is the extra amount you're gonna be putting towards your debt and then this extra payment column, which I'll go back to in just a sec, but then here are all your cards laid out per month of what you'll be putting towards that card. So the real power of this spreadsheet is your extra payment column. Now let's say at the end of December, you got a really good review at work and you're, you get a bonus and it's $2,500. So let's put $2,500 in here. And as you can see, it automatically pays off the ch chase card and then the remainder of that will go towards your car loan and then the 275 will be added to the 200 to get the 475 going forward to pay it off. Now, uh, just again to reiterate, this $2,500 is in addition to your snowball that you're already throwing at your debt. But we also know that real life happens. So let's say a couple months later you need some new tires for your car and you're not able to take it from other parts of your budget which isn't ideal, but we know that life happens. So let's say you need to put $150 towards those. So you're gonna subtract $150, and that's gonna be taking away from the $200 of your debt snowball. And what that will do is just readjust the amounts here and maybe add a couple months to the debt or whatever, however the amount affects that. We hope this spreadsheet helps you to organize your debt and pay it off quicker 
please let us know what you think and how we can improve it. And also make sure to hit like and subscribe and share it with your friends so that they can benefit from it as well. Thank you for watching.